Welcome, Annie Collins from Imagine Crafts. Today we'll be creating this thanks card. Let's go over some of the products I use. From Stamp Pennis to Shapely Vows stamp set, we'll be using the vase and a couple of the flowers and these leaves. I'll collide a color ink in Vineyard. This has a variety of beautiful fall colors and a variety of Versa Magic um, ink. We're going to use Perfect Plumeria, Pretty Petunia, Persimmon, Thatch Straw, Aegean Blue, and Penta Pesto some gems, some glitter gold cardstock for our sentiment, and some white, a scrap of white cardstock, a cream colored cardstock for our and green in our card bases. I already have um, my stamps on our stamp box and stamp platform, so that it'll be easier for us to work with. Well, easier for me to work with. First, we're gonna start with our background, which we're gonna pull in, oh, I forgot, but I'm gonna be using some Pure Shimmer Spray in gold. When you pull out the cream card stock, that's going to be our background. I'm going to bring in the gel press and I'm going to place it onto this white piece of card stock here so you can better see the, what I'm doing. Otherwise, you just see the green of my mat. I'm going to bring in the collider color and these come separate once you push that little lever in, they gather all together and that's how I want them. I'm just going to smear them across the gel press and I'm going to get a lots of fun texture. Now, you could do this direct to paper, but you're not going to get the same design here you're going to get more saturated this way i want i will have little bits of texture little bits of white or cream i should say sticking out let's move our gel press to the side we won't be needing that again and here's our background here's we're going to bring in our sheer shimmer spray in gold i'm going to give it a good shake make sure everything is nice and shook up in there and i'm just going to pull out the nozzle and just give a little pass so you get little sprinkles or splatters of gold now I'm gonna, I'm gonna heat this with my heat set. I'm gonna heat set this with my tool, heat set tool, um, because it's gonna take a while and we want to continue with our project. So I did that really quick, and now I'm gonna bring in my stamping platform with the vase, which has the little um, stems for the leaves already attached to it. So and this is like just an outline stamp. It's kind of finicky, but it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put. Um, my card down. I have it and hold it with my magnets and a little extra washi tape. I'm going to take the Aegean Blue for my vase and I'm just going to go ahead and ink it all up. And I love that these dew drops come to a nice point because it's easy to hit those little tight spots. Now I'm going to pull in the hint of pesto and I'm going to do our stems with that. I'm going to hit, go ahead and go and apply our ink to it. And then I'll press it down, get a nice stamp there. I'm going to hit it again with the Aegean Blue just to get a darker image. Now you're going to say, well, those colors from the background would come through. But if you have a glass vase, those colors would come through. You, if you put a vase in front of a colorful background, but even with water, you'll see whatever's in the background come through. And that's the concept I was going for here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and move all this out of thy way. And there is our card panel. It has the vase with the stems. For our um, flowers, I'm going to bring in this scrap piece of white. I'm going to show you too quickly how I do it here, and then I'll do a third one off screen. I'm going to take the thatch draw, and I'm just going to do a glob. That's it. I'm just going to rub it in a circle, a glob. Same thing with the pretty petunia, a glob. Just big enough to, bigger than my stamp, which is basically what I'm doing, looking for. I'm going to use here persimmon and I'm going to stamp, ink up my stamp and place it onto that glob of that straw. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my stamp with now the perfect plumeria. I'm going to ink that up and stamp it onto that circle of pretty petunia. And now our flowers are colored and set. So now I have three of them. I'm going to quickly heat set them because they're, we just layered ink on top of ink and it's a little wet. And I'm going to fussy cut them out. Once they're all cut out, I'm going to trim just a little bit off all around the edges of my um, panel here. This is the one that has the ink and our rods. Just a smidgen so that it will lay with a nice frame all around with that green coming through. All right, so now we're ready to start. Oh, no, before I hear that, I'm going to, I'm going to forgot, I was going to add the leaves. So I'm going to grab, again, a hint of pesto, 
and I'm going to just stamp these leaves sticking out of the vase. Now, this stamp tends to veer to the left. These are clear um, stamps and they're easy to be manipulated. So here I'm going to turn it to go more of a curve to the right. I'm going to ink it up again with a, a hint of pesto and stamp it onto our card panel. Now that we have it all set, I'm going to adhere everything together. I brought in my foam tape and I'm only going to use that foam dot tape for um, my purple flower. But I'm going to bring in my tarot tape to adhere the top card panel onto this layering cardstock that I have behind it, which is the green. That's a heavy, heavy um, 80 pound green cardstock. Then use the tarot tape, remove all the backing, and then I'll just go ahead and adhere that card panel to that, making sure I have all the adhesive in there. Once I have that down, now we can play with our flowers and figure out where we want to set it. All right, so I'm going to give a little curve, a little volume to our flowers here. And at first I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to put foam adhesive on all of them. But then I changed my mind. So I bring in my on point glue and I'm going to adhere the two yellow flowers directly to the card right there, making sure they stay within the card frame area. And I'm only going to put a foam adhesive behind our purple flower, which I'm going to center right there. Now for our thanks, which I went ahead and die cut it off screen just to save us some time. I'm going to use my on point glue, just little dots of it on the back of this um, cardstock here. And now place it across our vase. And I'm using the purple, the darkest purple there, as sort of a placement area so that my sentiment comes out straight. I'm going to fluff up my flowers once again. And now I have these jewels these gems in my cards in my stash for a while. I'm going to use those for the centers of our flowers. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my card panel to my card base. Just putting some more tarot tape on the back and then I'll adhere this to our card base. Now, like always, I'll have everything listed in the description box below if you are interested in anything or you miss any of the colors I might have used or inks I might have used. Right, once I get this on here, I'm going to try it this way real quick, make sure I get it straight on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add our jewel centers. Just to give that, since we have all that beautiful glitter on the bottom, I want to add a little of that shimmer to the top. So I'm going to put a little bit of on point glue in the center of our flowers. Now these gems have an adhesive, but they've been in my stash for a while. I'm worried they're not going to hold up, so that's why I use the on point glue because I know then they'll stay on for sure. I'm going to go ahead and place those on there. I used two purple ones on the yellow flowers and a yellow on the purple flower. And here's a quick look. You can see all the shimmer in the background and all this. And it just gives you this beautiful fall feel of a card. So again, I'll go over to some of the products we used. The Terra Tape, the On Point Glue, the Kaleidoscope Kaleida Color, and Vineyard, our sheer shimmer spray and a variety of Versa Magic ink. Like always, I will have it all listed in the description box below with links for everything that you need. And I would like to thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more inspiration from our design team.